What's up guys, Ryan from Manscapes. Today's video is just another unboxing from Micro Exotics. I did order the 100 pounds um, mystery isopod box. So I'm going to do exactly what I did from last video where I compared to what I ordered or the value of that to what I actually received. Um, so we'll get straight on with the video, but as always from me, peace and love, I'm out. So the first thing I actually want to sort of touch up on is how easy it is to navigate the website. Now this is slightly zoomed in more than I hoped it would be. I did record this from the phone um, or screen, grab it. So, but it's so, so easy. Micro Exotics as a person, he's an awesome guy. Um, and you can literally filter it through to armadillium, to cu uh, cubaris, things like that, or individual species. I tend to just click on all and see which ones I like the best. I did spend 130 pounds on this, so I am going to tally up and see. I did order some soil with this as well. But the first thing, we've got some cuttlefish bone. We can actually see it there, but I always call it the uh, surfing board for a mouse. I couldn't find a mouse on a surfboard, only on a pizza. I'm super excited to get into this. It was the £100 mystery box I got, alongside some soil as previously mentioned. I got some gourmet dried fish. I also got some algae discs for free as well. So straight away you've got, I've got quite a few freebies, including these lotus seed pods. I got two of the large ones and two of the smaller ones as well, completely free of charge, which was awesome. I know that those will add diversity to the little tanks, although they're not going to be the most visually appealing because at this stage it's getting the colonies going, but you know, the isopods absolutely love these and they will use them to their full advantage. But these are the bags of soil, so I did get some cust uh, custodian soil or premium isopod subst uh, substrate. I also got some shredded wood. I also hold that up here. And I also got some orchid bark as well. Now, the reason I ordered these is because at least I know I've got them then for the future for any isopods I then have as well. I also made a small mix up alongside or whatever I had spare. I poured a little bit into my Ruganoda setup at the back. So the isopods that are in there will also have, you know, additional nutrients, things they can feast on, um, you know, alongside all the extra things I put in and the protein that's there. Courteous, uh, you know, thank you card. I love, I love that business card, by the way, Adam. It's awesome. And I've got a sticker, so I can put this somewhere in the animal room alongside, you know, my other ones. But we'll see what we've got, and we'll get straight into the video. Armadillium Wunderi Orange, now, uh, Wereneri, sorry. These are absolutely beautiful species, and they're so, so, so adorable. I absolutely love them. Um, you know, I am super, super excited to see these develop grow you know have a little offspring and um, because these are a type of isopod i will be including in almost every single setup because i just love them so much but first we need to see them develop the next one is porcelio scale lava i just love how these look again i just find them so so cool I'm hoping that these develop quite a lot, and again, I will be in, like sort of including these in a lot of my, um, you know, a lot of my setups. They remind me of the, you know, the powder orange, kind of crossed with, you know, your, um, your powder blues, like a cross of them, I guess. But they are a stunning species of isopod, and again, I'm super, super excited to get these included in many, many of my setups. The next one is Armadillium maculatum yellow. I do have the champagne and if you're curious to see, uh, if you watch my last unboxing video, you'll see that I got those, essentially those little yellow dots on them, They're obviously like a bright white color instead of the yellow. 
but they are so so cute i love these as well so thank you so so much you know i, I really really do love these I also got these in the last one as well, which were Porcelio Scaber uh, Dairy Cow. Now, if you are wanting an alternative to, the, to these, you can get Porcelio Levis Dairy Cow, um, and they are about a third of the price, and they're still just as cute and adorable as these ones. I'm trying to sort of take a peek into these to see them without disturbing the soil before I add them into the little mini setups, which you will see me make. Like I say, they're not going into, you know, huge um, artistic detail. It's more just to get them in there. Cubaris marina. These are the next species. So I've got two species of Cubaris. Uh, I've obviously got the panda kings as well. Just bear in mind, obviously, when you normally order these, you order them in batches of 10. And I was, I was actually sent 12 of every single one. And this is the care package in full. I added it up because obviously some you get 12 in, so I had to divide how much they are individually and add on the extra two. So it was 180 pounds worth of stuff. So I got 50 pounds extra on top of everything, which is actually phenomenal. So thank you, thank you so much for the extras. But again, this is the website. As I mentioned, it's so, so easy to navigate. Um, you know, you can choose your soils, things like that, but it's just a really user-friendly website. If you are wanting to order, you know, even leaf litters, um, shredded wood, things like that, you can order your mesh, your sands, um, clay, drainage layers, things like that, um, which I don't even include the drainage layers on these because, you know, what, what I did do or in the setups I've got, and I'll explain it a little bit later, is um, I put them in and I end up sort of cling film wrapping around the sides on some of them to increase the humidity inside those little setups as well. But the soil mix is activated charcoal, organic charcoal. I then put on some just all regular, you know, your ordinary compost as well. I also then added in shredded wood, orchid bark and a bag of custodian soil. And that was the mix. I just mixed it all together and added it into every single um, cell. So each one of these was, you know, it was done individually. Um, I just wanted to have a little bit of a slightly different style. So you will see each one, but you'll see the vent holes at the sides. That's where I wrap the cling film around it. And then the lid as well has similar holes. So again, I wrap them with cling film on the lids just to make sure there's a little bit of extra humidity, especially at first. I want them to get pretty established in here. Um, the Q Barris or the Panda Kings in particular, those ones are wrapped fully. Um, on the lids and the sides just because um, they you know particularly like a lot more humidity I am sort of making each one similar with the cork piece you know the, the soil is all the same um, I know those leaves are fresh but they will soon die down and um, you know they will dry out I also added some dry leaf litter later on down or further down the line also you have to remember each individual pot I tipped in and every single pot essentially has it had its own leaf litter, its own moss, those sorts of things that they will eat. And it's just the case of replacing it every now and then as well, once it starts to run low. But these are the Panda Kings, and you can just see how cute they are.
but at this point it was just the case of rinse and repeat on every single setup. They were almost pretty much identical, enough leaf litter, enough sphagnum moss soil, making sure it's deep enough as well to retain the moisture inside and you know that was pretty much it. I've now got these on my rack at the top just all um, sort of horizontal and um, you know I am excited to see these develop. I will obviously post an update in a month or so just showing you all exactly how they are getting on see if we can see the next generation of um, babies and um, hopefully we can see more than one generation but yeah super super excited about this I actually found this really funny they're all just playing dead absolutely dead still um, they are all alive, obviously, it's just they decided to play dead for me. <laughs> I didn't think for a second though, like, oh my gosh, have I done something? But I didn't, they were just playing dead. I hope you liked today's video remember to hit that like button subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get all of my notifications the reason i got all of these was because i will be using them for future builds and as you know there's quite a few things that i've still got ready for this channel and i can't wait for it all to sort of come to fruition and you guys to enjoy the content um but as always from me peace and love i'm out